Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Eclectica. I am Seven, and we've got CC, and we got a special guest, Asia. Hi, guys. Yay. How you guys doing today? Pretty good. good. Pretty good. How are you? So you went to CastleCon. Yes. We did. All right. We're awesome. Yes, very awesome. So tell everybody a little bit about CastleCon. There's Comic-Con, there's all these other cons. What is CastleCon about? Oh, well, it's an anime convention. Um, they actually held it, uh, it's actually annually held mm. in the Gaylord Hotel okay. um, in Maryland. It's pretty awesome. Like, I, it was my first time going, so, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. It's huge. It's, like, just majestically huge. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It was so many floors. Uh, the elevators kind of made me nauseous. It, I liked it, though. Like, it was very, like, everyone looked awesome. It was like everyone's super photography, like just mm -hmm. on point. It was just amazing. Everyone was like awesome. even this logo is a very interesting thing. Yeah, um, what makes CastleCon different from other conventions? I think CastleCon is different in its um, well, for one, it's cosplay centered. Mm -hmm. Where I think a lot of conventions, the cosplay, the cosplayers kind of come with the package. Okay. But this one is more cosplay focused. Yeah. I and agree. um and it's also anime focused. Um uh -huh. and I think the only other con that you kinda come across that's like it, at least well, you have others like Anime USA, Otacon, but Casacon is just full on like all about cosplay. It is. It's definitely a cosplay appreciation. Mm -hmm. They like down to the landscaping, mm -hmm. like every nook and cranny in Casacon you can like shoot. Like it does like it's like bushes in a corner. You can just like jump over <laughs> there. And, like, shoot. So it's like it really is. I'm so serious. They, it's like every piece of structure, you can kind of get it off and just like, it's you so know, true. just take awesome shots. You can take so many awesome shots you there. Like the gazebo yeah. is like this mainstay of where like everyone takes their, uh, I, I guess like a lot of Lolita and right. like princess like costumers they tend to go there so yeah. like you'd see like the links the zeldas you see like you know it's, it's huge ball gown dresses so yeah. it, it was pretty awesome there's like, a lot of gorgeous outdoor um locations too some of which we can't disclose because <laughs> it's technically a restricted let's, area but let's not we, let's, right let's not we may or may not have made it work yeah. we may <laughs> we, we didn't break true. the law that's yeah. definitely not what we did okay <laughs> no <laughs> Um. So with an anime focus and a lot of cosplayers, do you feel you get more out of this con specifically if you are into anime and cosplay? Or do you feel like you're left out of the gaming, the toys, and other things? Um, Good question. Mm, I, I would say if you're a cosplayer that uh, loves anime, it's for you all day. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I mean, like, you know, CC said, it's basically for, you know, just the you know just basically congregating celebrating just anime right. so i mean honestly i wouldn't say for the gaming aspect i think they had like places you can go to more or less game mm -hmm. so i don't know it's it, it does take a back burner right but if you're like a cosplayer trying to get prints or if you're trying right. to just get your photography up you can just rack up on all your like you, it, it definitely is a place where you can just explore the different photography. You can. You know, I believe this things. is a 2017 pick, actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It actually not was. sure. <laughs> not sure which meetup it is because I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, so I can't see it. it looks here. like the Sailor Moon. Oh, is it the Sailor Moon? Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's just the general anime meetup. But I think but even if you versions. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you're not a cosplayer or you're not necessarily into anime, as long mm -hmm. as you have an appreciation for it. Yeah. And you have an appreciation for like Japanese culture in general. Mm -hmm. I exactly. think that yeah, yeah, because you no, really you're right about it. that. Because keep in mind, um, they have people there that were wearing like DC. They were still wearing DC and Marvel costumes, mm -hmm. but like, say if it was a collectible version from like Square Enix or something like that, they would like model that version, and that's of course you know Japanese. Yeah, culture. yeah. So, it's the same. Indeed. That's yeah. really cool. <laughs> yeah, Catacombs. So you're going back again. Yes, and the party I'm was actually lit too. Oh my gosh, lit. that was so fun! It was lit. super fun. <laughs> it was it was definitely really awesome. Yeah. You mean Geeks party? What? Yes. I think we party <laughs> harder than most. Yes. Like, I think we've proved that. Like, <laughs> top <laughs> the nerds, dude. Like, I don't get I don't get why people underestimate our power. <laughs> <laughs> We're so fun. <laughs> Now, a couple of years ago, there was this big pushback because of the sexual harassment during 
um, New York Comic Con, and they did a great job the following year having panels, um, really cleaning it up. And, you know, you guys did a really good job, um, or at least from what I got from other people. Again, yeah. Yeah. male perspective, you know, from what I was told by females. They started a movement. That it got better, um, yeah. Cosplay is not consent. Mm. Um, right. So, you know, basically, they actually, like, read pop. Like, I'm assuming they endorse, endorse these, like, signs because they mm -hmm. have banners all around. You right. Know, NYCC basically just reminding people like hey like you know just because you see a girl you know in some really hot attire doesn't give you the okay to just touch her mm -hmm. um I don't know what it is um I don't get why people seem to forget that you know cosplayers are still people and that mm -hmm. you know you can't just necessarily walk up to someone because they are your favorite character because it's still a person mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. dressing up like that character right. but um I think it's because, you know, we never had, like, an official rule book, so... It's, <laughs> like, I think it's a lot deeper than that. I yeah. think it goes into, you know, a lot of these social issues that we have in our society kind of ma manage to infiltrate, you know, mm. every institution, no matter how perfect we try to make it, right? Oh, yeah, so that's racism, sexism, yeah. Islamophobia, the whole nine. Yeah, and so. where I was specifically going with it, mm -hmm. this particular con, because it has such a strong anime presence mm -hmm. and well it's basically anime con yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah. already know where you're going right with right yeah. <laughs> you already know where i'm going with it yeah. dun, 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 dun. this is what i do dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is interview no <laughs> um so with that do they have the same issues as comic con or no they didn't have they don't they don't think, i don't have know. the same i, I mean I, I can from my personal perspective because i tend to go to more comic based cons mm -hmm. okay um, and like i said this is my first anime con mm -hmm. um i'd like to think it's a little less like i feel like it's like an a little less yeah a little less cons. what specifically like a little less intense have more yeah i think people a have a little more like control creepy yeah, like, they have, no, <laughs> I agree, creepified. and if they do creep, like, it's very artfully, because yeah. I swear I haven't seen, it. like, I, because, you know, the characters that, most anime characters, I mean, keep it real, they are not wearing, you know, a lot of attire, right. especially if it's casual wear, a lot of anime characters, when they're just casual, is like, it's a certain aesthetic, <laughs> um, so I don't know go there, but you know what I mean, like, shorts crops like yeah. it's it's a lot going on and otaku you know it's just i think that's so indicative of the otaku culture right <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, like the 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 hodum comes with the culture it's you know innocent. it's like mm. it's, it's, and it's, with, it's, a, it's a it's a rite of passage it's, yeah. you know you with know, the comic feel, book yeah it's I'm like the, 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 empowered. The, but then it's like you know the comic <laughs> book is there's that american culture where like they want you to be yeah. sexy but then they right. want to shame you at the same exactly. time okay the japanese agree, yeah. is like i'm gonna objectify you you're sexy but i'm not gonna shame you to that extent because well like sexiness is, is more it's like the more innocent. wait what did you just say it's more innocent i like to i think swore I, th I heard something else oh god i don't know what you thought <laughs> I, I don't know what you thought and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen rewind that bean footage oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> did you hear what seven heard if you did you might get a no. copy of free me the game Oh lord. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We're trying to bomb Asia on her you, first you appearance. So I'm I'm yeah, really so plugging terrible. something he here. Is. Yeah. And we'll that talk about we're gonna, we're, I didn't think you would plug. You would do a I plug. Feel, I'm, I feel well, you know what? I'm going to go into that. <laughs> okay. I met the you'll be surprised who the gentleman is that created this game. Okay. But yeah. I think we're we're going to come together and actually play Free Me the Game. Okay. But oh, check out okay. Free Me the Game. It's pretty cool. cool. The concept. It's it's anti-social media. So that's why I like it. Interesting. Uh, that is, yeah. I guess or should I say, yeah. it's anti-social. Maybe it's just non-pro. Mm. Check it out. Check out the game and hit me up and blah, 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 all that good stuff. Anyway. <laughs> no, I don't have stock in it. Not yet. Uh-huh. Dun, dun, dun. No, let me stop. But, um, <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> slut shaming is so huge. And again, I'm learning, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just a guy, okay? Yeah. I like art. And if the, lar the art happens to be a little naked, I could appreciate that on more than one level. Fair. I'm creative en enough to do that. Fair. You know what I'm saying? Fair. But do you really find that in this environment, there's more respect, there's more of an understanding? I, I, th I mean, only because I got sexually harassed in my first con experience, but it was Baltimore Comic Con. So maybe because... Why you got to shame isolated. the whole state? No, no I'm just messing with you. I, no, 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 no shame to Baltimore. It had nothing to do with that. 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 It had nothing to do with that
nothing to do with it wasn't anybody who worked for Baltimore Comic Con. Shout out to Baltimore Comic Con. You guys are Shout awesome. And you know, in hindsight, I probably should have handled it a little bit better and like reported it on site. But I guess I was in such shock of the situation, and I right. was like, and I tried to convince myself that it wasn't that it's big like of a deal. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was just you know. Well, you know what? That's a big problem too. <laughs> just in general, not only in this space, but just social space, rationalizing the abuse yeah. and not realizing that it's abuse. And I yeah. think that's why they kind of started right. the cosplay. You know, cons it's not consent. Right. Yeah. Honestly, I think it. But I feel like, um, like as far as like you said with the anime, it's like it, like people are more understanding because they are aware that most of these people are wearing like mm -hmm. scantily clad. And then to be honest, most of these people are like young girls that are like wearing, you know their favorite animes right. hold on like now that. like schoolgirl costume things like that it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he's terrible this, this, yeah. there's some there's some there's some there's some tagger-esque women wearing like, some things all, it's all different shapes and sizes but <laughs> yeah. i like and ages yeah very true and levels of geekdom too i think that's yeah. what's most important too because mm -hmm. people feel like you have to have a certain level mm -hmm. of knowledge or a certain level of you know expertise i guess you'll say Mm -hmm. And you know that's beyond. That's besides the point. If I like Sailor Moon, if I like Sailor Moon, I'm gonna dress up as a Sailor Moon character, yeah. and it's not up to you to mm -hmm. tell me whether or not I'm a real fan. All jokes yeah. aside, and I will not say which guest this was, but you could look it up. Oh. You could go back. And you'll figure it out. But um, we did an episode on our our YouTube. Our YouTube is Sonic Eclectic. Is our YouTube, and there was a comic book creator that had this mentality that. You know, cosplay is just TNA, mm. and I thought that was I. I was so shocked because if a bunch of ladies wanted to dress up as his characters, but now I think about it, most of his characters are male. But mm -hmm. it's so it's, it's so like popular. that would that yeah. promotes and pushes what you do, and yeah. it made me like, do you even have any daughters? Like the way he spoke about it was so disrespectful. Oh, no. And we had a, a cosplayer guest. Oh no! Guest host. Yes. Oh, it was just goodness. they were just like wow. Yeah, that just kind of takes so yeah. much away from it because it's like being a nerd, most of us have a respectable mm -hmm. job where it's, you have this nine to five and cosplay is the only realm where you get to embrace your sexual, especially yeah. as a woman, where mm -hmm. you get to embrace your sexuality mm -hmm. and, you know, be the free spirit that you, that, you know, isn't hiding inside of you or whatever the case may be. Yeah, band-aids and, and tape make and a yeah, really awesome Yeah, then it's like, now outfit. we can't even do and that. I like, I can't even. If you're honest, like, it's, it's also an art form, like. It's right. definitely performance art. Mm -hmm. um, people get into oh. character. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, and let's shout out to everyone that actually makes their own costumes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. From scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Because I've seen some things that are just like, you did this yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. people like, work for months. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For their for their favorite con and stuff like that. Yeah, there's um, definitely no shade to people who buy it, but I have that much more respect for those who make it. Yeah. That is for, for certain. Well... The level of respect, time, you know, we've said it time and time again on this show that, you know, geek is the new cool. Yes. At is. least for now. Yeah. Yes. Right? So <laughs> now everybody wants to go to the different cons. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hearing there's more of a safe space for the smaller cons. Mm -hmm. And then even the creators of different comic books um, and old school and new school tend to want to talk to people a lot more, communicate. Um, do you feel some of the sexism in the blown out cons, once a con blows up, it's going to be tainted, it's going to be soiled, and have the issues of some of the larger ones? I think anytime you have larger numbers, you're going to deal with bigger problems. Exactly. It's, kind of like a, it's not kind of like how larger cities have a larger crime rate. Mm -hmm. It's kind of inevitable. Um, but at the same time, if you do, if you do it right, Mm -hmm. And if you have the foundation from the get-go, like mm -hmm. this is not going to be tolerated, then mm -hmm. I think that'll really set the tone yeah. and let people know. Like, you know. I also think to like certain, like to some level of extent, it's always like kind of just there. Mm -hmm. like, you always have those few apples that are just gonna yeah. you know, spoil. Why they gotta like, be always, apples though? Like, you're just gonna always have those little rotten. Bananas. But why yeah. they gotta Bananas be apples meat. though? <laughs> I'm you're just saying. Oh, well, hey. You're but you're always going to laugh. You're, seriously, you're all, yeah. <laughs> well, think about it this way, too. We never talk about the sexual harassment towards men. 
Now, mm, oh, that yeah. is big, and it, that yeah, is, and, it's crazy and it doesn't go recorded. Because it happens, yeah. it does happen, and it's it, yeah, it's unfortunate. I have some guy friends that get physically like they get very Broke upset, in. and they yeah, 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 and they get like upset, and they're like, like I don't know, because keep in mind, you know, you, you're dealing with some people that actually wear uh, spandex, it's mm -hmm. lycra. These materials are very form fitting and contouring to your body. You so, mean you it know, shows off their package, basically, may and may you not. know. <laughs> More or less, some, for most guys, you know, if a girl's hounding you, it's not, you know, they don't really look at it like a bad thing. But then you have some people that are very uncomfortable. They have girlfriends, they have a family, you know, and then they're gawking. And it's just not respectable because it should be a two-way two street at the <laughs> yeah, end of the day. Yeah, definitely. We're asking for the same thing. So, you know, it's just kind of, like, contradictory when you have the same, you Yeah, know, it's all about respect. Man. Yeah, at the end of the day, you respect everyone. Now, yeah. do you yeah. say, some people say, hey, well, don't be Robin. No. You know, don't no. be old school Robin no. and wear just no, that's under stupid, roots. No. Is that people stupid? Who, mining our whole point right. Of, you know. Right. And there are people who it's against their religious belief to touch uh, someone who's not akin to them, but it's not their <laughs> against their belief to dress up as Robin. Yeah, like, like it makes <laughs> no sense. <laughs> now, we're uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about old school Robin. Spandex True. and okay. under roots. Well, look. Panties. Look, man, he wore panties. Nightwing, they could dress. Look, they look, you can dress as Nightwing. Right, you can do whatever you need to do. Black Widow. There's a variety right. of characters I, you, you can you dress know, as and still be on the variety of yes. people but, in multi like different cultures embrace yes. cosplay. Spe speedos. I've seen yeah. guys do a lot of old school characters <laughs> well, in there speedos. Are some swimsuit animes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Some swimming animes. So if you do see a lot of swimsuit cosplays, they're actual and they have an anime for everything. Yeah. Boxing, what's what's the one? A kill a kill. Kill a kill. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I'm just saying. Kill a Kill's beautiful, man. They, the, uh, girl, uh, you already know. I, I, girl Logan is based, they created the creators from Girl Logan mm -hmm. made Kill a Kill. Mm -hmm. And so it's, they have that same aesthetic of like just being free. Kill a Kill's very right. naked. It's about love. It is. Yes. And being free of expression, <laughs> a lot of a lot of the <laughs> anime shows sense. are yeah. in in its essence, and I think that's kind of like that's so indicative of Japanese culture, and that's what's so enticing it and intriguing about mm. it. That's why it I makes like it. it. So it's, their, it's their way of expression. It's yeah. their way to express. It. Even like even their fighting style, like the samurai. When you think about it, it's kind of like a beautiful thing. Like the whole. I'm not no? gonna. I'm just. I hear I mean, you. Versus like that. No, mm. you like you're more of a ninja. You know, but you know what? Now you think about it. Even when it comes to wrestling, it's very. Was it what's, the, what's that thing? Um, it's like a lot of uh, Greco, Greco that that Greek form of wrestling. Mm -hmm. It's very. It could be perceived very passionate. Yeah, yeah. You and know, a lot it's of too. That goes into it. It's it's that push and pull and right, using yeah. the force and the right, body and. Right, right. I never thought about it in a sexual way, yeah. but I guess you can be. Mm -hmm. Romantic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Japan, man. Body I don't even know what accent that was. <laughs> Shout out to Jeremy in, in the studio, just sitting there, <laughs> looking at me like I'm crazy, pressing <laughs> buttons. <laughs> yeah, it's like an octopus, man. <laughs> this is real. This is, <sighs> and this is live. It's crazy. I see you on TV. I see you. I see you. I see you. So, when is the next one? Is it this a yearly event? Yes. Annual, yeah. yeah okay. Annual. As in with, as in with most cons. Now, is Casa in other states as well? Or is just no, one? No, but there I are other cons it. like it. Exactly. Yeah. And, what, and what state this is in? This is in, technically it's in Maryland, but it's in the Washington, D.C. area at yeah. the Gaylord National Resort. Um, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, a nice place, actually. Really nice okay. atrium and nice Gorgeous. outdoor places to shoot and mm -hmm. whatnot. Real cool place. So what's next for you cosplayers? I mean, first of all, what what did you wear <laughs> the last couple of days? Maybe. <laughs> um, three days. Uh, first day I went as Anthe from Revolutionary Girl, which was like this really huge ball ground dress that was just, it was very fun to wear. But I've never worn princess dresses. That was interesting. Um, <laughs> second day I wore Yoko Littner from Girl Logan. We were just talking about that. Um, mm -hmm. And actually... Today, you know, I wore Mito uh, from Food Wars. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And you, Sissy? I, the cosplay crunch more so got the better of me, but I finally finished my Chun Li, so was I was epic. really excited. My red Chun Li. Oh, so it was hence so the ponytails. Funny. Yeah, I did it to, today and yesterday was the first time I wore it, and it was really cool. So gorgeous. And shout out to um, MJA Productions who took pictures of us, so we're going to send that to you guys to the website. 
post that. SEVnetwork.com, we y'all. Some really cool shots. Yeah, we got some, some really cool, cool shots. shots. Cool. Hence, may or may not breaking laws. Oh. Yeah. I mean, may, was, was we didn't dedication. break laws, but we may or may there not was a certain level have involved, restricted that was involved in the making. <laughs> 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 so Jeremy's like, why you got to mention like, no, that, no, man? No, 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 don't like, say it. No, don't no, you know no, the powers that be are watching everything? We didn't do anything wrong. We're hyping it up. They love we're, we're renegades. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> and you're live. <laughs> That's crazy. So what is the next con and what is the cosplay preparation to build up for that con? Uh, well, for me, I know I'm going to PAX East soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's coming up actually like really soon. I think that's in March. So mm-hmm. I um, just got a proof for that. I'm looking forward to it. I, this is, okay, in true nature of cosplay fashion, I don't mm-hmm. have a costume yet. I'm still thinking <laughs> of a costume. Mm-hmm. This is us. This is our life. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like, it's, I'm still so figuring that out. Um, I might, I'm thinking about uh, doing a new Tekken character. They just released a new Tekken character. Mm-hmm. And she's pretty dope, so I might do her. Uh, she's actually Raven's, uh, like, subordinate. So it's, that's interesting. So I'm gonna, I might check her out. And I'll let you guys. So you want to be the first... Yeah, she's really cool. So I actually might um you might start a new trend. Cosplay her. Yeah. But yeah. And yourself, Cece? I really want to try to make it to um Women in Comics Con. Okay. So um Yeah, that's going to be in the Bronx, okay? Yeah, right? I know. So that's why I figured I'm like it's right up the street. And you know, <laughs> it's a con. It's right about, up my street. I don't know. You know, <laughs> right up your street, but you know, right up it's not, not far. You know. Considering and um, it's a con. It's about women who are in comics. So, you know, why not? Never been before. And um, also, I want to try to do Awesome Con. And, of course, Blurred Con. But that's in June. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Blurred Con. Yeah, yeah. Where, where is uh, Awesome Con? Cool, and where's Blurred Con? Okay, so Awesome Con is at the Washington Convention Center yeah. in Chinatown. Well, right up the street from Chinatown in Washington, okay. D.C. And Blurred Con <clears throat> is at the Hyatt in Crystal City. And that's also like right outside of Washington D.C. You can even take the metro, the subway <clears> there. <throat> so, yeah, man, good stuff. That sounds exciting, yeah, man. Everyone like people were literally talking about Blur Cons <laughs> earlier today, so I'm excited about that. That's awesome. It was awesome. like the prequel at Katsu. <clears throat> it really was. <laughs> <laughs> it really like we had a party, had tables. It was lit. oh my god, we, <laughs> it was it was super fun. It's it's good to know that we're gonna have some you know yeah something to look forward to. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here we go. What's the, here we go. Look at the graphic. There's, <gasps> what's the takeaway? What's the takeaway from the weekend that you walked away with? Um, <laughs> Best moment. Know. Let's let's narrow it down. Best moment. Best moment. I mean, we went out and it was super awesome. Yeah, um, I have to agree. Going out and just like hanging out with everyone, reconnecting after like, the long days of like photo shooting. I think that's like always the best part mm-hmm. because yeah. we work so hard on our costumes. We yeah. stress ourselves out. And then when we finally go, we take our pictures and then, you know, that's stressful too in itself because you want to make sure you look fine. You know, you work yeah. so hard. Yeah. And then, you know, we got down to the wind down and then it's mm-hmm. just like fun. Oh, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like, awesome. yeah, it's, yeah, it was super fun. Yeah, the it photo shoot was. was awesome. And then just having the night out and finally having like so many of the cosplayers that I've met and and creatives who are like friends of ours and mm-hmm. have us all gathered in the same space. That's why I love cons so much because mm-hmm. it's like all these awesome people rounded up in one space and it's just, it's overwhelming, really. Yeah. It's all, it's, it's like, oh my God, we have this yeah, time. So much euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. It's, and a lot of the time we admire each other's work. Yeah. So imagine like, you know, someone that you see or you have You're like met. a fan of them and yeah. they're fans of you. And that's the crazy yeah, and the beautiful what, thing about yeah, it. That I think it's, it's a good reciprocation of like positive energy yeah. that like I hope continues to like just, you know, stay with the cons. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Well, that sounds good. Well, you know, social media, online, laptops, computers, all that good stuff. Um, Where could we find you guys and look at some of your cosplay? You guys have like an Instagram or something? Uh, yeah, I have an Instagram. Um, my name is Asia, but I also go by Sun Z on Instagram. So that's Sun underscore Z. Um, I'm also on Facebook. I will be getting a cosplay page soon. Don't judge me. 
Um, but <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm on her about it. Yeah, I'm every, on her. Every, well, everyone's on her about no, it. No, but she in particular, it's yeah, she needs I, Facebook. I need to get she one. Yeah, <laughs> shame, shame, shame. It's, it's terrible. Yay. And Cece, yours? <clears throat> I am on Instagram mm -hmm. at CC the Greek Geek. I'm also on Twitter at CC the Greek Geek and Facebook at CC the Greek Geek, but not the at sign, obviously. And then there's you know. Do it grammatically correct. <laughs> Do it grammatically correct on Facebook. <laughs> Not on Instagram or, you know. Sounds like it's Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spelled like a Exactly. That's two Cs. <laughs> so for your your careers as cosplayers, and we're going we're gonna to tie it up here, let's just say we fast forward and it's 10 years from now. Dun. I would hope to be oh, still gosh. What 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 do you want people to walk walk away with when it comes to you guys? Wow. Like what kind of like Asia did this, CC did this, or this would like what, what fill in those blanks? Uh, whoa, it's like an American right. Idol question, right. um, <laughs> like A pageant question. Like Miss like, America, <laughs> get it together. Yeah, right? It's like okay. Uh, <laughs> What do you want? Right. Um, right. Well, you know, I would hope that people, you know, actually just are motivated and or inspired to actually want to, you know, cosplay or just find ways to express themselves um, okay. in the geekdoms that they love. A lot of the reason why... No, you. About you. Yeah, well... well what's the one sentence? Question. One yeah. sentence about you. Uh, oh, wow. One sentence. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like people to know that I'm pretty, I'm pretty chill. I'm a pretty, pretty fun person. Okay. And Cece? Um, it's like a superhero caption. I know. Like, <laughs> I know. Like, um, one sentence. I guess charge yourself with two responsibilities. One, to do right by others and to help others at any op in every opportunity. And the second would be to do right by yourself. She just went like Ben Parker on me. Like, and what? ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you have your two candidates for the next 2020 <laughs> election. I know what you're trying to say. Like, I should have used that. I swear <laughs> to you. Oh my God, that was awesome. Thank <laughs> you. No, she's chill though. Like, she's one in a few I words. So like, okay, sorry, I'm we're cool. wrapping up. The, the, the freaking theme song's about to start playing. Wait, we gotta get in rave mode, man. Like, we're at. Um, Thank you so much, Ace, for joining us today. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, CC. <laughs> of course. Coming straight from BC at oh Casucon, yeah. and that's the <laughs> Casucon like, review. I am seven. <laughs> You'll see us live next week, same place, same time. You're watching Eclectica, and see you next week. Awesome.